Uh, this is Irun and welcome in my channel of Photoshop, Photography, Lightroom as well as video editing tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn about uh, grad filter in Lightroom 5 develop module. So how to use grad filter and it is the most important thing in the Lightroom as is, I think. So uh, this is maybe a great example to, uh, to, to teach about the grad filter. So so here is the segment, uh, you will get all the tools like uh, crop, uh, then uh, brush and grad filter then linear filter uh, sorry linear gradient i have choose this i have clicked this whenever you click here and you will get these options here so so here are so many options like uh, temperature tint in in the in the cs4 in the cs5 uh, there is no temperature tint tool in the in the grad filter so well uh, you will see here exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, clarity, all basic module you will get here. And uh, some effect like sharpness, noise, more difference and color you will get here. So well, uh, how to use uh, this? Uh, I have click here and uh, whenever you move your mouse on the, on the picture you will get plus sign here. So the problem with the images, the images are very underexposed in the, in the, for, in the background in the foreground part so i will boost some exposure and high uh, shadows in the and the in the bottom of the image so i will apply a grad filter from down to up then you will get three lines here three lines means uh, this is the middle point and you can move your grad filter to the any point of the image from here if you want to reduce the effect of the filter then you can hold the uppermost or if you have started from the uh, down to up then hold the uppermost if you have started grad filter from the up to down then hold the bottom one so you can reduce the effect so i will boost exposure so here you can see the result so i have boost also shadows uh, this is the effect with the grad filter this is before and this is after this is only by using grad filter and I want to I want to control the highlights so in this second you can control highlights and this way you can control your highlights now click on ok if I want to add one more uh, grad filter then again click on here then I will apply here from the up to down now this time I want to reduce the shadows only like this and little bit of I want to boost exposure so in this way you can you can do uh, correct exposure by using Lightroom 5 grad filter now uh, one more mm, now click on done now the image may have the correct exposure but I'm not satisfied with the result then I will again come to this grad filter now I will apply one more and you will see here three dots means we have three grad filters here one two and three now this time I will boost temperature I want some orange shade in the in the upper part of this image like this you can boost Now I want more red. Now click on OK. Now I will just want to highlight uh, boost shadows. So again click on here. Uh, this is the segment for the grad filter. So any 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 setting you want to do, any setting you want to do, you can do here. Suppose I have click here and. Uh, uh, I have three dots now if you want to add it to any any grad filter you can just click here and you will get all settings here and later you can change the settings here uh, suppose I have choose this now the settings are changing if, if I have choose there all the settings are changing now click on done and uh, again I have click on grad filter then in effect you will get custom settings some custom settings here like uh, if one if I want to uh, do the uh, 
work with the exposure then click on exposure uh, one second contrast suppose I have choose contrast in the optimum setting uh, done by the Lightroom itself uh, suppose I have click on clarity and then uh, some changes will here and in this segment suppose this time I have choose noise then the optimum setting choose by the Lightroom 5 so you can do uh, you can use here presets of uh, grad filter in Lightroom like tint I have choose tint and then the the value will increase automatically for the that particular setting now you will see here uh, that uh, color okay okay if I want to uh, reset the values of uh, suppose uh, this all values are here you just simply double click on the on 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 the on clarity on uh, on any segment you will do double click and you will get the reset value now one thing more uh, here is the color button now suppose I want to do uh, orange shade from the up, up upside uh, firstly I will remove the filter that I have applied for this so this is the filter working for the up point and uh, if you want to delete just click on here and hit delete button on the keyboard now choose color um, something like orange click on here and uh, I will apply grad filter and uh, this time you will get the color and I don't want any change in the exposure or the color I want only change in color like this any color you want you can do and I hope you have got the idea and uh, here is the new button and uh, click on here here is the new button and uh, if you want to do apply so many filter click on new then again you will uh, you can apply a new grad filter so I hope you have got the idea and uh, and this way you can do load many things and Lightroom 5 with the module of grad filter